So good morning, everyone. Um, starting on our seat, so any comfortable position with the legs, cross-legged or kneeling, and there's no specific props today, um, maybe a block or two if you wish. And then once you find your seat, just rest your hands on your thighs somewhere. If you're using the music, now is a good time to press play. And then as you settle the body, gently close the eyes. And just notice that natural feeling of drawing in. Everything around you is starting to fade. And just allowing the next 60 minutes to be yours, moving your body, breathing your body, perhaps shifting some heaviness and drawing towards a place of balance. Start to take a deep breath through the nose. And then open your mouth, exhale. Two more like that, inhale. Exhale. And then inhale your deepest breath so far. Gather everything in and pause and hold that breath a moment. And just feel it into that space. Exhale, let go of that breath. Vocalize any release. Ugh. And just return your awareness back to your natural rhythm of breath. Maybe starting to extend each inhale and exhale breath. Slight ujjayi restriction at the back edge of the throat. And then start to notice the body moving as you breathe. And as you breathe in, the navel center slowly starts to puff out a little. And as you exhale, there's a slight engagement, navel drawing in towards your spine. Inhale, the navel relaxes, the belly soft. Exhale, navel draws in, slight engagement at your center. So feel free to stay with that breath. Otherwise, we start to move into Kapalabhati, breath of fire or skull shining, pranayama. As you next breathe in, feel the navel puff out. Sharp exhale breath through the nose, navel snaps in. <laughs> Inhale, feel the belly puff. Exhale, snap, navel in. Inhale, expand. Exhale, snap. You can stay with that rhythm. Or find a quicker space. Find your own rhythm of breath. Not worrying too much about the inhale, that's automatic. Just focus on the exhale. And as you breathe, feel some lift through the crown as you're pushing energy from your center all the way through to the crown of the head. Just stay with that breath. Stay here, five, four, three, Two, one, exhale the breath. Deep inhale breath, full lungs, and then hold that inhale breath at the top. And just notice any sensation in the body, perhaps there's a little rush to the head. And this feeling as everything starts to draw back to equilibrium, releasing the breath as you need. Take another inhale. A deep clearing exhale. And then Kapalabhati again, going at your own pace. Just 
is focused on the movement of the navel. And maybe for you today, this isn't the breath for you. So you just stay with your natural breath, lifting through the crown of the head. Try to make that breath a little stronger at your center. Shoulders relax down, drawing from the navel to the crown. Stay here, five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Deep breath in, full lungs. And hold the breath. And perhaps this time it's a little easier to hold this inhale retention. Just notice any resistance to it. And as you need to, release the breath. Take a deep inhale, final round. Clearing breath, exhale. Kapali Bharti when you're ready. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Deep breath in. You're deeper so far. And then hold this inhale retention as long as you can. Just notice what sensation arises for you. What thoughts pop into your head. Stay with it a little longer than you want to. And as you need to, you release. And just pause in stillness. Perhaps there's a tiny pulse through your body. Maybe there's a little more heat, lightness through your crown. As we start to shift and feel into this fire center. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And sigh out as you need. Bring your hands together, Anjali Mudra at the center of your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale for one big arm. Pause in that space, feeling into an intention for your practice. And slowly we start to open the eyes. We're going to start on our backs. So release the brick or any support coming onto your backs. I'm going to go this way. And just draw the knees in and start to give yourself rock side to side, just feeling the knees move in. So Maybe they move side to side, moving one way, moving another way. Just starting to listen. As always, if anything doesn't feel right in your practice today, you modify the rest as you need. Just taking another breath in here to move. And as you exhale, bring the knees together, the shins parallel to the floor. Your arms extend wide. You might bend into the elbows, cactus, or keep the arms straight. Start to feel the navel draw down into the spine and then up underneath the ribs, squeezing the knees together. The shoulders stay down, take a breath. And as you exhale, start to hover the knees towards the left. Inhale back through center, navel draws down. Hover the knees to the right. So left hip might lift, but the shoulders stay grounded. Inhale, back to center, navel in. Exhale, hover left. Inhale through center, navel just fine. Exhale, hover right. Good. This time, inhale through center. And then start to lower the knees all the way down to the floor on the left side into your recline twist. So you might bring your left hand onto your right knee, any variation with the legs. Maybe you turn your head to the right. 
just softening through the right shoulder. And start to feel into your breath, moving through your body. Your ujjayi breath, inhale. Exhale slightly, the navel draws in and maybe the body releases closer to the mat. Draw the navel in slowly, start to bring the knees back through center. And then as you exhale, knees all the way to the right side. Again, any variation with the legs, maybe right hand resting on left knee, turning your head to one side, just feeling the movement or the twisting feeling through the spine, the chest, the abdomen. Take a deep breath into the front of the chest. And as you exhale, soften left shoulder towards the mat. Good, slowly engage through your center, start to lift the knees back up to center. Then extend the legs up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands behind your head, interlace grip, elbows wide. Scoop the navel down, take a breath. And as you exhale, start to lift your chest up towards your thighs. Keep the legs extended, you're extending through the toes, take an inhale, navel down. Exhale, start to hover the right leg towards the mat. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hover left leg towards the mat. Good, if you need to bend the knees, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, right leg hovers. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left. Inhale, use the breath. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Keep navel drawing down. One more each side. Inhale. Right leg hovers. Inhale. Left leg hovers. Inhale, both legs up. And maybe the tailbone starts to lift. Lift the chest a little higher. Exhale, draw the knees into the chest, release the hands and give yourself a hug. A little rock up and down the spine, rocking and rolling. We make our way to down dog or pushing your weight to one side. If you rock to down dog, cross the shins, hands go down, step the feet back. Good. And then just let the belly hang for a moment. Finding your shape in your down dog, your hands pressing down, your shoulders lifting away from the ears. Your navel scooping in and up underneath the rib cage. So starting to feel into Uddiyana Bandha. So the navel drawing in and up, this energetic lock we use to help create some lightness in the body. Find your Ujjayi, inhale. Exhale through the nose. Your own rhythm, inhale breath. Exhale. On your next breath in, start to bring yourself forward to your high plank. Push through the heels, dome the upper back. Exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Bend elbows, chest, chin down, Ashtandasana. Slide onto your belly, into your cobra, lift through the chest. Exhale, lower your chest all the way to the mat. Shalambhasana, the arms extend alongside the hips. Maybe the palms are down, or if you feel ready, interlace the hands behind your back. Press into the tops of the feet, lengthen the spine, inhale, start to lift through the chest. And as you exhale, lower the chest back down. Inhale, lift it up, draw knuckles away from your shoulders, lift, chest lift. Exhale to lower. Extending from toes to head, inhale, lift it up, and this time pause. Maybe the legs float off the mat, extending through the inner thighs. Draw the palms together a little closer. If you have the grip, take an inhale. Stay for the exhale. One more inhale. Everything lifts a little higher. Good. Exhale, release it down. Hands under shoulders, tuck your toes and press back to your top toe child's pose. And just take a moment here. Let the belly drop, the armpits drop. Deep breath through the nose. A deep breath out. Inhale to all fours, snake with the spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, walk your hands towards your feet, making your way to the back edge of the mat. During the navel in, you might grab the opposite elbows and just sway outside to side. Then go of the head, the neck, the shoulders, maybe the hands 
spine behind the calf muscles, just feeling into your fold, feeling into your breath. Take an inhale breath here and release your hands to the mat as you exhale. Keep a bend in the knees and slowly start to roll up your spine one vertebra at a time. At the top, shoulders draw up, back down. We're going to shake it out. Let's practice a virata. Start to shake out through the right hand all the way into the right arm. And take your awareness to your left hand. Start to shake your left hand all the way into the arm, shoulder, the chest. Then move to the feet. Maybe the right foot starts to shake all the way into the leg. Maybe the left leg starts to shake. And just keep going. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth, release. And maybe you start to move in any way you need. That could even be a jump up and down, a stamp of the feet. Just starting to release and let go. Shaking the hips, shaking through the head. Rolling the shoulders forward, closing the eyes, not mattering what you're looking like. You're looking like. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come to stillness. One hand on belly, one hand on heart. Just pause a moment. Sighing out the breath as you need. Feeling into heat on your skin and the beat of your heart. Feeling a slight engagement through the navel. We start to flow and twist into the center. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Mouth open, exhale the breath. Gently releasing the arms to the sides. Next breath in, raise the arms up and look at your thumb. As you exhale, bend through the knees, fold forward, hands to the mat. Good, try to stabilize the breath again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold your chest over your thighs. Standing tall, inhale, push through the feet, raise the arms up, palms pressed together. Exhale, swan dive forward, hands to the mat. Halfway lift to fingertips or hands on shins. And step it forward to your downward facing dog. Start to roll yourself forward, push the floor away, come to your high plank. Then as you exhale, draw right knee in towards your chest. Really squeeze it in. Good. Hover that leg back. Stay in the plank. Exhale. Right knee comes in. Push the floor away. Navel in. This time, three leg jog. Right leg goes high. Draw your right knee to your chest. Step your right foot between your hands. Left knee to the mat. Raise your arms up. Low lunge. Scoop the navel in. Then the half split. Straighten through the front leg and we fold the body forward. You can slide the left right heel forward a touch more. You might flex through the toes. Using your hands to support you as you need. Good. Take an inhale. Find length through the spine. Maybe on your exhale, the chest goes deeper. Inhale. Start to bend into the right knee. Lower the hips and raise your arms up. This time, exhale. We twist to the right. Bring the right arm back. The left arm forward. Reverse the twist, right hand to left thigh or your lower back, right arm, left arm up and over. And as you exhale, bring the left hand down to the inside of the foot, the right arm comes up. Into your easy twist, tuck the left toe, lift the left knee, open through the right shoulder a little more. Exhale to cross leg fold, right hand down, slide the left foot leg behind the right and fold. So you might need to bend the knees. You might be on the knife edge of the feet. Just listening into the edges of the legs and your lower back. Use the breath, inhale, find length. And maybe you fold the chest deeper forward or the hands walk around to the right. 
One more breath, let go through the neck. Soften the chest over the legs, exhale. Inhale, back through center, lift the chest. Exhale, you fold again, scoop navel to spine. And then press through the feet, we stand tall, keeping that shape of the legs. Lift up through the fingertips. Exhale, navel in and fold over the legs. Inhale, the hands go down, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Exhale, right leg goes up, three leg dog. Good, lower that right leg down, bring yourself forward to your high plank. And either drop through knees or this time chaturanga dandasana, bend elbows. Slide forward and up into your up dog or cobra, press into top of feet. Lovely energy, exhale, scoop navel to spine, tailbone high, downward facing dog. Find the breath, inhale. So you'll feel that engagement through your center, exhale. Inhale, bring yourself forward to your high plank, dome into the upper back. Exhale, draw left knee in towards your chest. Inhale, hover the left leg back. Exhale, draw the left knee in. Good, inhale, hover. Exhale, squeeze the left knee in. Inhale, three leg dog, your left leg goes high. Exhale, knee to nose, step left foot between the hands, right knee to the mat. Low lunge, raise the arms up, lift out of the waist. Half split, straight in the front leg, fold your chest over your left leg. Again, use the hands to support, that left heel might slide a little more away from you. Flexing, pointing through the toes. Scoop navel to fine, spine, take a little length. And as you exhale, hold your chest to your thigh. Good English, start to bend into the left knee, lower the hips, raise the arms up. And then twisting to the left, right arm forward, left arm back. Reverse the twist, left hand to lower back or the right thigh. Your right arm comes up and over. Exhale, right hand to the mat, left arm up. Tuck through the right toes, easy twist, lift the right knee, open left shoulder. Exhale, left hand down, cross leg fold. Step the right leg to the outside of the left foot. Take a breath in. Either fold straight forward again, or maybe your hands walk to the left edge of the mat. You feel a little more space through the right side. Use the breath, navel drawing in. Let go through the head, the neck, the shoulders as you exhale. You're over to the side with the hands back through center, halfway lift. And with your exhale, maybe everyone you fold deeper. Good, strong legs, press through the feet, come to standing, hips drawing forward, navel in, arms up. Exhale, this one dive all the way back down, hands to the mat. Inhale, the right foot steps to the back of that mat, runner's lunge. Exhale to your three leg dog, left leg high. Lower the left foot down, come forward to your high plank. Either lower through knees or bend elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale through up dog or your cobra. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Settle in your breath, inhale. Exhale through the nose or the mouth. Inhale, come high on toes. Bend the knees, look forward. And you're either floating or stepping to the front of the mat. Half lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Bend the knees, sink the hips with katasana, lower the, hip, the hips. And as you exhale, bring your hands together in front of the chest, heart center. Start to lift up through the heels, squeeze through the inner thighs. And then start to lower the glutes towards the heels. We're moving into boat. So your arms go forward or the fingertips behind you. Float the shins off the mat. You can hold onto the knees if you need, otherwise arms forward. Take a breath, lift the chest. Keep the navel down as you exhale. Option for half weight, stretch through fingers and toes. Good, inhale, lift it up, navel in, chest up. Really nice. Exhale, long through the legs and arms, you hover. Listen to your lower back, inhale, lift it up. 
Exhale, strong body. This time, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, cross the shins, hug them in, hands down. You can float back through vinyasa or step back, downward facing dog. Your own way of getting to your downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale breath. A deep exhale breath. Inhale, come high on toes. Bend the knees, look forward, step or float to the front of your mat. Half lift, inhale. Fold, exhale, breath. Again, chair pose, lower the hips, raise the arms, find your seat. This time we go to half chair, so lower chest to thighs, your arms forward. Press down through the balls of the feet, start to lift the heels. And as you exhale, bring the hands down underneath your shoulders. Open the knees wide into your crow, knees into the back edge of the arms. And you're still feeling that navel drawing in, doming through the upper back. If crow is not for you today, take the feet wide, yogi squat, heels in, toes out, hands into prayer. And if you're in yogi squat and you want to give baby crow a try, you keep the knees hugging to the shoulders. The arms stretch forward as far as you can. You keep your eyes looking forward beyond the fingertips. And you just start leaning the chest forward and back. Hopefully you don't have a plant right in front of your head like I do. But bring the shoulders over the wrists and you're just getting used to lifting the feet and coming onto your hands. Good. Take another inhale and full crow toes together. Lift the heels a little higher. So good. Stepping, floating back through your vinyasa. Nice, Danny. Meeting in your downward facing dog as you're ready. Take your time getting there. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Keep the navel in, inhale, come forward to your high plank. Exhale, draw your right knee to your right elbow this time. Inhale, hover that right leg back. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, full and star. So you extend the right leg out past the left edge of the mat. Roll into the sole of left foot, right hand down, left arm comes up. Doesn't matter what the shape looks like. It's kind of like a side plank. Yeah, really good. Left arm overhead, any variations, reaching out through the fingertips. Use the breath, inhale. Strong through the legs, exhale. Bring left hand down, three leg dog, right leg goes high. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, step your foot between your hands. Stay in your fingertips, the left knee lifted, runners lunge, start to lift the chest. And as you exhale, we fold into our pyramid, this time keeping the left heel high. So pausing here, you might flex through the toes. You might start to work your hands towards your left foot. Otherwise, keep your hands down for support and a bend in the front knee as much as you need. Use your breath, scoop navel in. Draw chest to thigh, chin to shin, exhale. One more inhale breath here. Let go through the back edge of the neck, exhale breath. Slowly start to bend into the right knee, strong legs lift up to your high lunge. Exhale, start to twist to the right, bending both knees, left knee hovers towards the mat. We repeat that, inhale, bring it back up to high lunge. Exhale, twist to the right, arms wide, left knee hovers. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, twist to the right, and this time hold. Reverse the twist, right hand to the left thigh or right hand to the lower back, left arm comes up and over. As you exhale, easy twist, left hand down, right leg arm up towards the ceiling. Take a breath, open your right shoulder. Bring the right hand down, cross leg fold, left foot steps forward behind the right. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward with breath, exhale. Strong legs, start to press through the feet. Everything lifts up at the top, you bind right hand to left wrist. And we side bend to the right as you exhale. Bring the body back through center, start to press into the right foot. The left knee comes up and we're balancing. 
options here. You keep the arms up, keep drawing navel up in and up underneath the ribs. Option to start to extend the leg. If you do that, you might like to hold underneath the thigh. Take a breath in with the leg extended, lift through the big toe. Exhale, start to bend into the knee. Inhale, start to extend the leg. Exhale to bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Really good. Inhale, extend. Maybe that big toe lifts higher. As you exhale, sweep the leg all the way through, arrow lunge, landing onto the ball of the left foot, arms by the hips. Good, easy twist, left hand down, right arm comes up. Cleopatra, turn your toes to the right, lower left hip, right arm to the back wall. Inhale straight away, we lift it all the way up, finding Skandasana at the back of the mat, bending into the left knee, right inner thigh open. Take a breath in. You can use the hands down for support as you need. Otherwise, hands float up and open the chest. Look towards the front of the mat, bend into the knees. Right foot goes down, warrior two. Arms wide, shoulders down. So right leg forward, left leg back. Use the breath, inhale, that's it. Bend through the front knee, shoulders down, exhale. Reverse warrior, right arm comes up. Open through your right shoulder. Exhale, wimble your hands to the mat and step back into your plank. Bring the right hand forward a little in front of the shoulder. Slide into the edge of the right foot, side plank, your left arm comes up. So if you need to here, you drop the right knee. Go, Luca, <laughs> lift through the hips. Option to float through that left, the left leg up towards the ceiling. Use the belly, inhale. Long through the lower back, exhale. So many dogs, one more breath in. Exhale, left hand down, your vinyasa through to your downward facing dog. So good. Come back to breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out. Inhale, start to bring yourself forward to your high plank, navel to spine. Exhale, draw left knee to left elbow. Inhale, hover that left leg back. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, pausing there, extend the leg, fall and start. So right, left big toe in line with the right fingertips, you slide into the sole of the right foot, the right arm lifts up. Option to bring the right arm over head or any other variation. Use the legs, inhale. Long through the lower back, navel scoops in, exhale. Slowly the right hand comes down, three leg dog. Left knee in, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot between your hands, run as lunch. Good, stay on fingertips, lower the hips, lift the chest. And start to straighten through the front leg and fold the body forward. So you bend into that front knee as much as you need, just feeling into the line, the back line of the left leg. Option to flex through the left toes. If you have no more space, your hands might start to walk towards the back edge of the mat. Use the breath, inhale. Draw chest to thigh, chin to shin, exhale. Inhale, slowly the hands framing the left foot, bend again into the left knee and lift it up to your high lunge. As you exhale, we're twisting to the left, bending the right knee, hover right arm forward, left arm back. Good, inhale, bring it back through center. Exhale, bending both knees, twist to the left. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, twist left, and this time we pause. Reverse the twist, left hand to lower back or right thigh, right arm overhead. As you exhale, easy twist, right hand down, left arm up. Take an inhale, open through the left shoulder. Exhale, cross leg fold. So your left hand down, slide the right leg to cross behind the left. Take halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Slowly press through the feet, 
Come to standing at the top, left hand binds right wrist. As you exhale, you side bend towards the left. Back through center, navel in, push down through the left foot, right knee comes up. An option here to keep the arms up or hold underneath the thigh. As you breathe in, extend through the leg. As you breathe out, bend the knee. Inhale to extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend, keep the navel in. Exhale, bend. This time, inhale, extend. Maybe that big toe lifts a bit higher. Exhale, sweep the leg back, landing area lunge, ball the foot down, arms alongside the hips. Easy twist, right hand down, left arm comes up. Cleopatra, turn your toes to the left, lower the right hip. Inhale, lift it all the way up, turning towards the right foot to side lunge sandhasana. So right toes turn out, lower through the hips. If you need to, your hands down, hips are high. Option to float the hands, take a breath. Lower the hips a little more, slight bend in the left knee, flex the toes. Then look to the front of the mat, use the legs, pressing into the left foot, warrior two, the arms wide. Take a breath to settle, left leg forward, right leg back. Shoulders draw down as you exhale. Inhale, start to reverse the warrior. Left arm comes up, open through your side body. Exhale, and lay your hands to the mat, frame left foot, step back to your plank. Good, this time the left hand goes forward slightly. Slide onto the edge of the left foot, stack right on top, right arm up. Again, you can lower the left knee if you need. Otherwise, take a variation. Maybe the right leg floats. You might start to turn your head and look to your right thumb. Take a deep breath in here. Draw the navel to the spine. Lift the hips a touch more. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale to your plank pose, your vinyasa, to your downward facing dog. Take your time, deep breath through the nose, deep breath through the mouth. Another breath, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring yourself forward to your high plank and exhale, draw right knee to right elbow, this time pause. So you might just stay here pretty hard. You might start to bend the elbows, hooking the knee towards the back, the right elbow point. You might move into Kuninyasana. So Kuninyasana, you might just step that right foot forward to bring the right shoulder underneath the right thigh. I'm not an expert at this. And then you work the chest forward. You're coming to left tiptoes. You're trying to bring left elbow into the hip. You lean everything forward and then that's where you start. Hopefully you have more space towards the right. Yes then maybe the right foot floats even a touch. Use the breath, inhale. Stay here, exhale. Slowly to three-leg dog, take your time, your right leg goes high. Exhale, draw right knee, cross the body to left elbow. Inhale to three-leg dog, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot between your hands, runner's lunge. Lower the hips, remove the breath, lift the chest. Straighten the front leg and fold your chest forward. Inhale, start to bend into the right knee. The arms come up to high lunge. Twisting to the right, arms wide, hover left knee to the mat. Reverse the twist, right hand to your left thigh, left arm comes up. It's an easy twist, left hand down, right arm high. This time, half moon, keep looking forward, be on the front of the mat, left hand walks forward, the right left leg lifts, right arm staying up, or you can keep right hand on lower back. So you want this back to be flat towards the ceiling, extending through the left leg, starting to stack right shoulder on top of left. Maybe the right arm comes up, you might start to look towards your thumb. Strong through that standing leg, inhale. Open through the right side, chest, exhale. One more inhale, reach through the right fingertips. 
cross leg fold, hands come down, step left foot behind right, fold over your legs. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale, breath. Stand tall, inhale at the top, bind to left wrist. Side bend to the right, exhale. Come back through center, press off your right foot through your left knee in towards your chest. Then we find figure four, open through your left inner thigh, hands into prayer, hook left ankle above right knee. So you might stay here, keeping the chest up, the chest straight towards the wall in front of you. Option to start to add the twist. So left hand comes onto your left foot, right hand onto lower back. You start to twist your chest towards the right, turning your head over your right shoulder. Option to do full version, hands together. You're trying to hook your left elbow to the sole of the left foot or maybe the shoulder. If you have grasshopper pose, go ahead. My hips definitely don't let me do it. See the eyes looking. Maybe the hips lower a touch more. You might feel a little more around your left glute. Use the breath. One more exhale, lower the hips a touch. Slowly start to turn the chest through center, push off the right foot, left knee pins comes in. This time the arms stay forward to your warrior three, extending the left leg back. Staying here, strong line from fingertips to heel if you need to, hands into prayer. And then as you look towards the floor, start to lift your left hip on top of right. And you're trying to find this variation, warrior three, straight line from fingertips to back foot. Take one more breath wherever you are, floating those hands. And then half moon, right hand down, left arm up. You got it strong through that bottom leg. You can bring your left hand onto your left hip. Drawing the left shoulder open, any variation, bending into that left knee, bind into the foot. Keeping the eyes looking one point, maybe your right hand floats. Really good, deep breath in. Pause to the exhale. One more inhale breath. Gently with control, bend into the right knee, step back. Warrior two. Good. Reverse your warrior. Right arm comes up, open your side. Exhale, wiggle your hands to the mat, to three leg dog. Right leg goes high. Then your vinyasa, you might add your chin stand, your hand stand. You might just float that leg. Coming through a one leg chaturanga, dropping through knees, making your way to downward facing dog. Deep breath through the nose. Deep breath out. Another breath, pressing into the knuckles. Feel your navel draw in and up underneath the ribs. Inhale, start to bring yourself forward to your high plank. Exhale, draw left knee, left elbow. So again, we pause here. Option to bend slightly into the elbows and let that left knee sit on the back of left tricep. Option to move into Kundinyasana. The left leg steps forward and you're trying to bring the left thigh on top of left tricep. You keep the body moving forward, right elbow hooking to right hip. And then maybe you can start to float that left leg off. I'm definitely not the best at this pose. <laughs> Keep extending through the front leg, strong through the back leg. Take an inhale breath. Good if you're holding, stay for the exhale. To three leg dog, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, cross the body, right elbow. Inhale, extend it up, three leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step left foot between the hands. Lower hips, lift your chest. Straighten the front leg and fold. Inhale, start to bend into the left knee. Bring the arms up to your high lunge. And then hover, twist to the left. Reverse the twist, right arm up, left hand to right thigh. Easy twist, right hand down, left arm comes up. Rotated half moon, look towards the front of the mat. Right fingertips, walk forward, start to press off your left foot, right leg floats. 
option to bring left hand to lower back. So the lower back is flat to the ceiling. And then you're trying to peel left shoulder on top of right. Extend through the right leg. Notice if you're bending into the knee and push out through the back edge of the knee, feel the inner thigh work. Option to extend the left arm up. Maybe your eyes turn towards the left thumb. Good, use the breath. Pause, exhale. One more inhale, breath here. Gently cross leg fold, left hand down, right leg steps behind the left. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale, breath. Strong legs. Inhale, start to press through the feet, bind onto the right wrist. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center, start to press off left foot, draw your right knee into your chest. To figure four, open right inner thigh, put the ankle above left knee, hands into prayer, lower your hips. Then keep the chest up, we'll start to use that twist, right hand to the right foot, left hand to lower back, and you're starting to open your chest to the left. If you have more space, hands into prayer, right elbow to the sole of the right foot, maybe the shoulder to the right foot. Press the palms together, draw the chest open. Scoop the navel to the spine. Use the breath, inhale. Sit the hips lower, exhale breath. One more breath, maybe you start to turn your head, look over your left shoulder. Grasshopper, I should have said that, go ahead in your own time. Take your time wherever you are, start to press into the left foot, right knee comes up. Then to warrior three with the, eight, let the arms extended forward if you can. Push the right heel to the back wall, stretch through fingertips. Option to bring your hands into prayer heart center. Then take an inhale, keep the eyes looking one point on the floor. As you exhale, start to shift right hip on top of left. So your body starts to become, so it faces the right side wall. Take one more inhale, extend from crown to heel. Left hand down, right arm up or on the hip, half moon. Taking your variations, left hand supporting you underneath your left shoulder. Extending through the right leg. Flex through the back foot. Maybe the eyes look up to your top thumb or the ceiling. Use the breath. Stay, exhale. One more inhale, breath. Gently start to bend into left knee, step back, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, left arm comes up, open your side body. Exhale, remember your hands to move frame, left foot to three leg dog, left leg high. Your variation vinyasa, coming forward, keeping that leg lifted, your chin stand, hand stand. Make your way downward facing dog. And then pause a moment in down dog. Maybe even close the eyes. Feeling the breath so out as you need. Maybe there's some heat on the skin. Take a breath in through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, lower your knees to the mat and come to a kneeling position at the back of your mat. So resting hands on thighs, eyes closed. And pause a moment in your breath. Take an inhale through the nose. And sigh out through the mouth. So two rounds of camel pose. Just go to wherever you can today. If you need to just stay kneeling here, then go ahead. So we're starting to stand up onto the shins. Bring the hands to the back. Fingertips point down, shoulders draw in. You want the knees to be hip width or even wider. You might like to tuck through the toes, pushing the heels back. Before you move, feel those fingertips press into the lower back towards the floor. So you're lengthening through the lower back. Take an inhale, lift through the chest. Shoulders draw back, elbows in, and you slowly roll your spine across your hands. Option to keep the chin tucked, or you drop the head back. 
And just feel the navel center. Just go to where you can. If you feel super open and want to grab already, go ahead. Otherwise, stay here with the hands supporting the spine. Take a breath in through the nose. Feel the hips press a little forward. Exhale. One more inhale into your heart space. Puff it up. Exhale, stay. Coming out, if you're grabbing, bring the hands to the lower back. Slowly lift up. And then sit back onto your heels, kneeling down. Palms facing up, eyes closed. Feeling your heartbeat. Feeling your breath. Deep breath through the nose. Mouth open, exhale the breath. Second set, come again up onto the shins. Again, take the knees as wide as you need. Hands might come a little higher this time towards the upper back, towards the neck. The shoulders draw down, squeeze the elbows in. And there's a slight lengthening of the lower back. So as you do that, you feel the hip points lift. A slight engagement through the glutes, but not too much. Either toes tucked or top of feet down, take a breath, lift the chest. And then slowly start to roll your spine over your hands. Again, drop the head back if that feels okay. If you're grabbing for the feet, keep one hand on the spine. One hand reaches down for the heel. And the other hand reaches down. Use the breath. This pose a little confronting. So keep the eyes open and feel into each section of breath. The eyes looking one point, deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale to stay. So good. When you're ready, slowly one hand up at a time, lift up through the chest. And lower seat to heels, hands to thighs, close your eyes. Just draw your awareness away from what's around you and into your own body. Noticing your heartbeat, any shakes in the spine. Starting to go beyond just the external layer towards a place of deeper consciousness and awareness. Take a breath in through the nose, a breath out. You can either stay here or rabbit pose, bring the hands down. So the base of the hands are in line with the top of the knees. Curl the chin in so it's a counter pose. Press the floor away, dome into the upper back. You might stay here or bend into the elbows, bringing the hands to the, the top of the head to the mat. You can stay here or your tripod if you wish. Tucking through the toes, lift the knees up. Then you bring the knees onto the back of the elbow points. Elbows stay, drawing in, shoulders lift, very little body weight in the top of the head and then maybe the toes float and maybe the, the legs lift all the way up to the ceiling. Just keeping the eyes open one point. Good, so first point, try to walk those knees to the back of the elbow points and you work on bringing elbows in, shoulders lift, really good. Just take another breath here. Stay for your exhale. Slowly coming out from tripod. Again, come the opposite way. Knees to the back of the elbow points, meeting in your kneeling position as you're ready. And from kneeling, start to slide the hips to one side. Extend the legs forward. Arms reaching forward, belly drawing in. Slowly roll all the way onto your back. When you get to your back, draw your knees in towards your chest and give yourself a squeeze. And maybe there's a happy baby drawing the knees to the armpits, the hands to the outside edges of the feet. You might open one leg at a time. You might find a little rock from side to side. 
and keeping your right knee in towards your chest. Start to release the left foot, either solar foot to the mat or extend the leg long. And it's half happy baby. You're encouraging the right knee a little closer to the right shoulder, both shoulders flat to the mat. Take a breath in here. Feel the softness of the body relax into the mat as you exhale. And then slowly single leg twist, grab hold of the outside of the right knee with left hand and draw your knee all the way to the left as the right shoulder opens. Maybe your head turns to one side. This variation of twists a little different to the start. Just notice how it feels in the body. Relaxing through the navel center. Maybe it feels a little deeper or less intense. Take an inhale into the right shoulder. As you exhale, try to bring both shoulder blades flat to the floor. Start to bring the body back through center, right knee in, left knee in. So half happy ba baby, left hand side, just grabbing hold of the outside of the left foot, the left knee to left shoulder. And the right foot might just rest on the floor or you might be able to extend the leg long. And you're bending into the left elbow, encouraging left knee a little closer to the left armpit. Take a breath in here. Draw the knee down as you exhale. And soften into that grip. Right hand reaches for the outside of the left knee. Single leg twist, draw left knee across to the right. And then that left shoulder, draw it down. The shoulders relax. The belly soft. Just one more inhale into the left shoulder. And as you exhale, let the left shoulder draw down the upper back flat to the mat. Engage through your center and start to draw both knees up. And then take a few moments to move in any way you need to close your practice here. Feeling into the body. Letting the breath completely soften. And slowly moving towards Shavasana as you're ready. The legs wide, the arms wide. Taking the last deep breath into the entire body. And a deep breath out, letting everything relax. Relaxing through your navel center. Your breath so soft, just as though you're barely breathing at all. If you're listening to the music, you should be on the final track. And this quote by Ram Das, it says, within each of us, there was once a fire. For some of us, it seems as though there's only ashes now. But when we dig in the ashes, we find an ember. Very gently, we fan that ember. We rebuild the fire. The only thing that is important is that ember, that tiny breath of living spirit. Just resting in your own spark of fire. Let yourself be here.
we move longer here in your Shavasana, please feel free to stay as you are. If you're ready, gently deepen into your breath and bring some movement back into your body. Maybe reaching your arms overhead and your legs away, stretch yourself out. And drawing your knees in towards your chest, gently roll to one side. Making your way to your seat as you're ready. Hands on your knees, elbows soft, shoulders relaxed and eyes closed. Just take this final moment with your breath. Does the breath feel shallow or deep, staggered or smooth? And how does your body breathe as you move as you breathe? natural rise and fall of the navel center. Taking a deeper breath in. Deep breath out. And draw your hands together, Anjali Mudra, heart center. Take another deep breath. As you exhale, bow your head forward, your thumbs just resting on that third eye point, the point between your brows. Just take a moment to honor your practice, yourself, each other. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.